Dumpster diving Dumpster challenge. Dumpster slushy. Oh, oh on your camera guy. Dude, come on. What that? Got my good buddies fishing with Norm. Howdy. Mason Hoover. Howdy, howdy. 50 yards from us, we have three trucks. We also have three hours in the biggest city in the United States, Jacksonville, Florida. I'm pretty sure that's landmass, not population, because I haven't even heard of that till Norm told me like 20 minutes ago. Go Tigers. <laughs> Jaguars. Mm. Anyways, a lot of dumpsters. There's stores everywhere. So we're going to be diving in as many dumpsters as we can find, go to as many stores as we can go to in the next three hours. Everything we find, we have duct tape, silicone, and screws to put together. We build these boats. Tomorrow morning, we have two and a half hours to fish. Whoever stays the driest, catch the biggest fish, wins the challenge. You ready, gentlemen? Yep, ready. Godspeed. May the dumpsters bless you. Three, two, one. That was so impressive of both of you. Oh, yeah. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh, gosh, curse these parking spots. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get in so many dumb collisions. About to be three $500 deductibles. <laughs> he said, come on, dude. Yeah, it'll get stopped up. Idiot. Before we go any further, today's video is brought to you by Force Thunder. It's a completely free multiplayer action game available on PC, Mac, Xbox, and PlayStation. You can play with a range of military ground vehicles, aircraft, or naval vessels. And the new Sky Guardians update was just released, which means they added the Yak 141 Vertical Takeoff Fighter, the Panther 1S Spag, the Little Bird Helicopter, and on top of all that, the warships of the French fleet. The new location for aircraft fights was just added to the game, Pyrenees. And there's several maps where you can have winter variants during ground battles. Just look at how the vehicles can be upgraded. You can add devices, armor, and more to your favorite warship. Plus, the locations in the game now span the entire globe, from Africa to Alaska. War Thunder's advanced graphics show the most advanced air and water combat visual effects. Clouds in the sky are formed within the rules of physics. Mud, dirt, and dust adheres to armored vehicles and can be cleaned off with water. I didn't think ants would be in that. <laughs> Mm, got me. And the wind affects smoke and fire depending on its direction. If you would like, you can download the game completely free by clicking on the link in the description. All new players and players who haven't been in the game in the last six months will get a week renting legendary German ground vehicles, three premium vehicles for years to keep forever, XP boosters, and a week of premium account and other bonuses. So hurry up while the deal's there. German gift giving will end soon. Thanks to War Thunder for making videos like this possible. So we're in the Home Depot truck. Bought my truck when I was working at Zaxby's, 2007. It doesn't turn on anymore, so I had to rent this thing for $19 an hour. Oh gosh. <laughs> Smells like dumpster in here now, and I like it. Nick, come on. I got a dumpster to get in, bro. Yeah, you should definitely put your seatbelt on. My blood's pumping and I feel like I'm 12 years old at the moment. They're taking off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be strategic about this and we're gonna look at maps and figure out the most expensive stores to go to first. There's two dumpsters right there. I wanna go to some bigger stores. Knowing Norm, I know he's gonna go for like the fancy stores. He's gonna try to find a Rolex and maybe some designer clothing. Mason's probably just gonna go straight to the first construction site he can find. I need to think outside of the box. Catch these boys slipping. <laughs> Dude, imagine being Lulu Lamont and leaving your dumpsters uncovered right in the back. There's two of them right there. What I'm hoping is I catch some employees. We used to do this at Chick-fil-A. We used to go throw Chick-fil-A sandwiches when I worked there in the dumpster. At night we go, we grab them, take them home and eat them. Hoping somebody that was some Lululemon size 36 shorts. Preferably in a black or green. Black brings out my eyes. I don't even know what is around me. I've actually never been to Jacksonville until like 10 minutes ago. Right here, we can basically just go behind all the stores. The only problem I think we're gonna face is most of these stores have 
the new compactors where they just put all their trash in there like that one right there takes all the trash and just compacts it down so you can't use anything oh i don't know if you can hear that the good old moisture in the gloves just frothing around yummy check this out though it's like roped off over here there's basically a boat sitting on the top of this thing <laughs> dude i won't even have to build anything oh my gosh bro look at what the sticker says on the side dude this is a whole gucci box bro if i find gucci bro i'm not gonna lie i always told you guys i'd stay humble i'd never flex but i will wear gucci and tag it on instagram i will <laughs> i will flex a little bit you know i am so double parked right now First dumpster. Oh, dude, that would have been so useful. Wow, first one. First dumpster we run into, truck's backing in. That's what I get for running, dude. All right, guys, I already see one right off the rip. Oh, you scoundrels. Oh, dang. <laughs> I had my eye on that thing for the last hour. Dude, can you actually help me get it? I'll help you if you help me. I was going to give you some Gucci, man, but it's fine. Oh, I love me some Gucci. I knew he'd fall for the Gucci thing, too. I'm not going to give him any Gucci. Okay, here we go. Okay, that is women's product. Got some plant pots. That could be something. I'd say we'll take what we can find for now, just because I don't know how often the dump gets picked up here pretty weak but it's something oh, i think i see mason going up to a giant dumpster right there oh no what is going on i was here first you guys need to break dude off. you straight up stole my okay, spot first off i was here first no this is my gucci box no, 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 touch no, no, it no. first touch it first <laughs> no for real this is a gucci box Look, walk on this side and look at the look at the sign. That is crazy. Do you see the Gucci sticker for real? I do. Do you do we all want to unbox it and see if there's any Gucci inside? Yeah. One hundred percent. Gucci. Oh god. Oh, Gucci. This thing's so heavy. Don't drop. Come oh, on. Be a boo. I lost my right from my neck. Dude. Be a team player, dude. Oh, dude. oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gee dang. Oh no, oh. Gucci. I don't know why you throw a brand new boat away. Okay, so since we all three found that, is that off limits? There's no walls and dumpster diving. Oh my god! <laughs> Except for every man's for himself, you dirty dogs. All right, so there's a target about a mile down the road. Literally every store you can think of is in this little stretch right here. It's like the most convenient town I've ever seen. Everybody here also looks like they have a lot more money than me. They just stare at me kind of funny. Probably because we're running up to their dumpsters with cameras. Be good to me, Target. We definitely could get kicked out of here, dude. Oh my gosh. Dang it, dude. I thought I found the perfect pontoon, dude. Ugh. Tell me that would not be the best pontoon. Oh gosh, there's, I am so, I am so sorry, Target, but there's no way I'm pulling that without losing my, I, I'm sorry, Target. Oh, there's security. Just, just, security just drove right past us and he was looking at the building. We're getting a free Gucci bag. The boys were saying too, that we have, I think they were saying we have silicone which would be great for kind of patching the holes here on the bottom of the boat just so it stays waterproof. We also have duct tape and I think it's like the waterproof kind or water resistant. It'll be good. Try to load her up. <sighs> See if I can do this. Believe in myself. Mm. <laughs> New boat. Do we have ratchet straps? No, they're all in Mason's truck. First dumpster's a bust because everybody else had the same idea. Dang, that was a classy dumpster too. That was like, like you don't get those dumpsters too often. I think I may have found something. Oh no. 
Dang. So that was like, there's like a big old dump trailer over there, but it's got like brand new straps on it and boxes. So they're definitely- Supply is waited to be used. Um, right here is GameStop. We're right here, which means the GameStop dumpster would be on the left side. It's right around this corner. Let's go see what's inside. That's so awkward. The back door is open, guys. I really hope I don't have to talk to an employee. Oh, it's locked. Is this a dumpster? <laughs> what is that, like electricity or something? Uh-oh, dude, they got one of those trash compactors. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's leave. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I found a foot massager, dude. Oh my gosh. If I could turn this into a boat. It's just paper. Kind of a massive letdown. All right, I'm gonna remember that this love seat is right here. And if we need a love seat, we know where one is. I just don't wanna take up too much space in the back of my truck and then not even need it. There's also a reason they got rid of that chair. I don't want to. Uh, kind of just thinking. I go back, I do actually take that box. <gasps> oh, they got the box. Oh no, you got the box. <laughs> hey, do you have any ratchet straps? I do, but I need a trade here. What do you want? I found another dumpster similar to that one. Need help? Just right there. I just need help carrying it because it's Deal. really heavy. Deal. Let's do it. Gosh, there's so many people just walking and staring, and I am uncomfortable, but it, I love it. Is this stuff dumpster stuff? Yeah. Cool. Is, it, is it all right if we like grab some of the wood? No. No. Okay. All righty. Guess we weren't the only ones trying to build boats today. There's a guy in the dumpster yeah, right there. Told us we couldn't grab any wood for Mason. <laughs> Dang. Gosh. That'll just break your heart. Not mine though, I'm tough, but like, dang. Well, this time we're not taking no for an answer, unless it's illegal. Then it'll be a maybe. Actually, I think I might be good here. There's that big piece of wood there, and there's one laying on the side. I think if I grab both of those, I think I'll be good. Bro, you are in there, dude. In there like swimwear. You ready to grab this thing? Ready? Yep. You didn't even know they were giving away free boats right here. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Have a rest trap? Yeah. Dang, I'm not even trying to sabotage them at this point. It's just not doing the thing. Is it, can it not even reach? Yeah, I got the shortest ratchet straps in the game. Uh, do you have any more? No. All right, see you, ma'am. While you're doing business. Always hated that guy. All right, well, we successfully did unfair business with Norm. I promised him to ratchet strap. Hey, uh, my ratchet strap wasn't big enough. So, you know, what are you gonna do? Get the old people room. Another monstrous pallet. There's a trash can, dude. If that thing's not broken, I want that. Yes, dude. Yes! This is what we need! <laughs> oh. oh gosh! Dude, I don't know if I can. Oh god! I was wondering why they threw away perfectly good. Not again, dude. People are going to start thinking I'm throwing up on purpose. I don't know what that was, but it was solid black liquid, dude. Oh, Target, dude. This is going to be so quick that I'm going to leave the truck running. Let's take a look here. Yeah, see, like we got straight goodies. Gosh, this is so nerve wracking. 
Oh, should grab the first piece, get it over with. Oh, it's so in there. Um. All right. All right. I'm listening out, but I'm stockpiling. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous somebody's gonna say something because I normally can get my way out of things, but when you're like just dead in the wrong, you're just in their dumpster and say, hey, what are you doing? You can't be like, just hanging out. You're just in the wrong instantly when you're digging through their garbage. Yo, we're huge fans, bro. Let's go, dude. Uh -huh. Yo, you know where any, oh, you don't want to, dude, I'm, 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 I'm,
Looks like there's a college up here. Maybe some kids got kicked out of school and had to throw all their belongings in the trash and there's just a dumpster boat in the trash somewhere. I'm feeling all right with what I got. I know I can make a boat out of what I have, but I just want that extra, that extra something, something, that extra zest. Well guys, check it out. A little bit of an unboxing. Tailbots bag. Definitely could probably use this like a Christmas uh, bag, repurpose it. A scarf. Some of these things, man, totally could use these um, for something. Oh, dude, another bag. Let's go. Jean Pierre Khalifa, Paris, dude. Whenever it says Paris below the company, that means it's expensive, bro. If there was a way to capture every family of four that's looked at me, so people can know, but it, there's not. I have heard that the best time to dumpster dive is later. But you gotta think, where would have five gallon buckets or something that we could put inside of this love seat to make actually float? Costco, dude. You know they have stuff at Costco. Like Norm's probably up like three grand in Prada clothing and Gucci belt. But like Mason's probably touched every piece of plywood in town. I just got covered in black juice. That's Tim Tebow. That is definitely Tim Tebow. Sorry about that. That was Tim Tebow. <laughs> okay. I don't want to bother him. Dude, I could take that, that trash can now that it's drained so much. I'm just scared. <sighs> this is so dumb, dude, but I really don't want to lose. Oh, gosh, I hate myself so much, dude. That's the most rancid smell I've ever smelled, dude. But I feel like if I'm gonna get that thing to float. Gosh. Mm. I did spot some like little things. This is one of those apartment, one of those places uh, where they have the big trash compactor and I just saw some stuff sitting on the outside. So we're gonna see what it is. No way. Dang. I don't, are these nice? I'm actually gonna take these. We got some shoes. Let's find another spot. Oh, dude, we hit the mother load. We got a cat tower and a gaming chair. That'll be a good captain's chair. We're definitely grabbing this. Yes, thank you. Ah. Oh. How's it going? Oh, right. <laughs> Try to close my legs, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, sorry. My mom oh. watches these videos. Oh. Let me get down. Put me down. Put me okay. down. Stop it. Okay. The <laughs> worst. Son of a gun, dude. Dude, you could have stood off, man. <laughs> the supplies have been gathered. We now have 60 minutes to take everything that we took from the dumpsters and make a floating vessel so that we can go fishing in a couple hours. Let's do it. Are you ready? Three, two, get going. So my boat plan, simple. Take these pieces, roll them vertical. And then I have to roll these pieces vertical too. When it comes to fishing, I'm kind of absolutely terrible at it. I'm gonna try to phone a friend, maybe call on a local fisherman. Let's build this boat. All right, the main concern, the bottom of this boat is extremely heavy and we only have a few five gallon buckets. This big spinning wheel has to go immediately. We're sinking first boat and I really don't want to sink first on my channel. Oh yeah, dude, still got it. Welcome to the world's first Gucci slash Hype Beast boat. Found this thing in the dumpster. Can't believe they throw such a gem away. So as far as my boat goes, I think I have to build the least out of the three boys, but I still have a couple concerns here. There's a ton of holes in between every single piece of wood and on the sides, as well as probably the weakest points are gonna be the corners right here. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna caulk everything down from the underside first, 
then the top side, then put duct tape on it because we only have two hours before these things go in the water. It needs a lot more time to dry than that. Oh, there we go. So again, my plan with this piece is just turn it on its side like that. I think that will be enough to keep it afloat. Just don't stand too close to the edges. You're gonna have like basically a paddle board here. Keep her level, you know? Thanks, Trey. Set me up for success, mate. <clears throat> wow, that's on there. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Ears are gone, dude. God, your protection would be so nice. Yes. Five degrees out. No, I'm sweating. Gucci just dropped a new Gucci sauna. It's like 105 degrees out here, and the heat's just getting trapped in here. Let's give her a little check under the hood. Oh, this is my first like Gucci like hype beast product besides the off-brand Yeezys I buy for ninety dollars on Wish.com. So this is a big deal for me. It's probably the coolest thing I have in my collection. And then a slider over. Yes, sir. Let's mount the side pieces up. So we kind of get an idea of which piece of wood we need to pull off this to fit. We're just pretty much gonna stand this up on its side. You're doing good. I'm feeling it good, dude. Better. The best of my knowledge. It's not very much knowledge. It's not. Ah. All right, this is good because we have a massive sheet of plywood that has to go. I think we still have a frame coming around the boat which will hold everything together. <sighs> dude, it's so sweaty. Yeah. It's like trying to pry me off my wife in high school, dude. I had a math teacher wouldn't even let me sit next to her. Now I sit next to her all the time, Miss Thomas. Um, here's what we need to do. Got to get serious, dude. Woo! Dude, I am a sweater, dude. I just sweat and sweat and sweat. I feel like that fat dude off Drake and Josh. When he just sweats in the movie theater. That's me, dude. Shout out to him, though, because he lost some weight. Okay, girl. Ooh, there's no pressure. Nobody's watching. It's not like a million people are going to see you perform. So just relax. It's just me and you. Don't even pay attention to the camera. Give her a second. She just gets a little stage. There you go. Dude, it is so hot here. Oh, dude, the Gucci sauna, man. I should have gone with the Louis Vuitton store. I got the Louis Vuitton one. I feel like Megan Fox in that Transformers scene when she's all getting lifting the hood up. It's all greasy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> We're gonna have water going in this thing. Oh, that's awesome. Check that out. It's just big old holes on top of all these lines so many places for water to come through. That's even if these side walls don't fall apart. This right one is really flimsy. All right. Mason, I've never ran a drill before. No, your name's Trey. Same thing, flip her over. I think you got enough displacement here to like- Even out the way a little bit? Well, to keep it from sinking. This is gonna be the transom or the bow. We're not going for best looks or best efficiency on the water we're going for build 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 boat that's what we're doing so now i've basically got all of the corners and side walls done so now i'm going to do all these horizontal beams going across which there's probably about 20 of them and if i make one mistake it could be the end of my boat So I've been building the boat for about 20 minutes. And it's honestly kind of like therapy. It feels like art just clogging all the holes, but it made me kind of think about just how cool this challenge has been so far. I'm extremely introverted and I feel like almost all YouTubers are like too scared to like talk to people in person. So they try to talk through a camera, it makes them feel more comfortable. But I do kind of like how this pushed me outside of my comfort zone. Not only one from like going and talking to people in weird situations, but number two, building something that is just not my strong suit. I've always been the fishing guy, but it feels 
feels kind of cool to come in here and just try to build stuff. It makes me feel like a kid again. While the saws all charges, we have some Gorilla tape, some duct tape, some of the strongest waterproof tape that Walmart offers. I got a bunch of five gallon buckets yesterday. Some of them came with tops. Most of them just came with some like biohazardous chemicals. So I think our only option is to take this waterproof tape and try to cover it up and make each one of these completely water sealed so that they provide buoyancy even if they get turned over inside the boat. The first couple strips of tape, I'm just gonna do completely around the bucket. Earth pontoon completed. We only have to do this five more times and the buckets only get grosser. I don't change diapers that much, but one time I changed one and it looked pretty much just like this. Oh, hey, well, ice cream truck, dude. I might just go at the bomb pop. Dude, you should. Those are classics. Oh, I might actually do a chunky strawberry okay. fries fruit. Should I do the SpongeBob SquarePants popsicle? I'm thinking a little bit of that action and that will make our bow. Let me cut that out and I'll be right back. All right, we have finished the inside. So we're gonna flip this thing over, get it from the back too. So if I miss any spots, which I definitely did, it's so hard to like make sure everything is covered. Hopefully I'll accidentally have the bottom side covered on the side that the holes have just to avoid it. It's basically like a double trap. So if it gets through one door, hopefully there's another door blocking it. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> so the plan is we maybe have 30 minutes left. I'm gonna line up all these as quick as I can. I only have one uh, gun left, so like half a tube. Then I'm gonna duct tape the bottom, just cover everything down here. Hope this thing floats. <laughs> Okay. That's the solid one I needed in there. Out of all the five I put in there, there's one that actually might hold. Fresh battery. It's probably really dumb, but. Thank goodness, dude. It is surprisingly a lot easier to do this standing up than sitting inside of it. <laughs> I think I might actually finish this with like five minutes to spare if I keep this face up. I just hope this duct tape, I don't know what happens when you put duct tape on top of this stuff, if it's gonna hold or if it'll just rip it off and ruin the whole entire thing. But I definitely feel like we need as many layers of security as possible just to make sure this thing doesn't go under because it is gonna be the heaviest boat by a long shot. Just kind of encase that entire little shred with silicone this one's about to be the the scary part oh yeah we're just oozing right now you missed the spot she's done no dude you missed the spot done i watched you miss the spot over with i think it's your fault finish so we have removed the plywood that was covering up the inside of the couch and my plan is to take these sealed up five gallon buckets stand them up vertically with the bottoms facing towards the water this is upside down right now so bottoms up we're gonna have four might have room for a fifth but then i also found these oil cans that we can smidge in the cracks it's gonna give us a little bit more buoyancy and the big kicker is gonna be this trash can we're gonna stand vertically and just hope that it doesn't fill up we're gonna tape it to the side a little bit lower on the back side and i'm hoping that'll kind of counteract all the weight pushing towards the back Should be functional. Should be. Woo. It's not a complete covering of tape, but 
I don't think those buckets are going anywhere. I didn't want to leave a crease where if anything went bad, they could slide out. And I don't see a single crease where anything could fly out. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. It's almost like patchwork, I feel like, where you just see sun coming through, cover it with tape. So you can't see the sun no more. I feel like I'm gonna sit in this thing when we get in it. Just have splinters out the booty, man. I'm gonna sit in this thing, just have 30 spikes of Gucci right up in the Gucci. We're gonna finish duct taping the seams that we just went over with the caulk. And there's no way this thing sinks. No way. It's like the Titanic dude, she's unsinkable. I like that attitude. We're gonna do one on the long side here. Hold that for me. All right. Last piece. This will seal the deal. Tape that thing. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, dude. That's money, dude. All right, final step. I have my handy dandy trash can here. Smells terrible still. We have the love seat pretty much taped up. The only issue that we have is the back of the chair is gonna cause some weird weight distribution in the water. I think what we're gonna need to do, tape this trash can with the opening facing up, and then when it leans back, all the flotation that the trash can puts will keep me out right. I'm hoping. <laughs> My booty's burning so bad. It's on there. That's so sketchy. Hmm. <sighs> Boats have been built. We've made it to the body of water that we're gonna test these bad boys. We have one hour until dark. Oh boy. <laughs> there's also a gator right there, and there's one swimming right at us. Good thing we have good floating boats. Hope you built good. I hope Mason built good. <laughs> <laughs> so start with Trey and Mason's build. What do we have going on, man? We got the transom. Okay, that's a girthy one. A piece of wood. Mm -hmm. We have the gunnels. Okay. Which is also a piece of wood. Well done. Captain's chair, you know what I mean? You gotta have a good stable point to paddle from. Yep. On the front here, for extra speed. Wow. We have a bow. Bow. Mm -hmm. Aerodynamic, because Top speed. Yeah, top, that's what we built it for is top speed vessel. Good build. Yep. All right, Norm, what we have? We got the Gucci coffin, as I call it. It might be the Gucci <laughs> submarine in about five minutes. Uh, wood, all cocked up, and then duct tape on the bottom, double layer. Mm -hmm. It weighs a thousand pounds, and I really wish I would have known there would be alligators here before I chose this one. It might float for five minutes. Yeah, Gucci yeah. coffin seems appropriate. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the trashy love seat, as I like to call it. Trash can, weight distribution, five gallon buckets with a little bit of a tummy bulge. Confidence level is about a 50-50. Gators knocked it down a solid 25, so. Boats have been built, we have 60 minutes. May the best man win. Three, two, one. <laughs> We're wasting no time. We're getting, oh dude, there's so much water coming in, it's barely in. Rod holder, bet y'all didn't think of that. This is gonna be a test of time. See how quick I can catch a fish before it goes under. We're already taking on a lot of water. Oh, dude, I knew it, man. Uh, <laughs> I've already got like 10 gallons of water in. <laughs> well, guys, we got a speed worm on. There's tons of bait here, so I'm just gonna start fishing and hope that I can catch fish before this thing sinks. My feet are already soaking wet. Oh yeah, it's filling up quick. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna go in for sure. I'm just gonna let you guys see how y'all float for a little bit and um, I'm staying close. I'm gonna see how the gators are feeling in about 20 minutes, then we'll see what the love seat does. Oh, we're already taking on water. This is bad. We are floating though for now. Oh, it's so unstable. Mm. Oh, this is like an ab workout, dude. My obliques are firing off. Only thing that could happen is when we were moving this boat, the duct tape just got grinded into the asphalt. Come on, love seat. Love me down. Oh, that is buoyant, dude. 
Okay. Okay. Uh oh. That is a lot of water. All right. May not have much time, so we got to get to fishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like there's a good amount of water in here. It's very unstable, but I don't know if it's going to keep on taking water because it's already filled up past where all the holes are. I might be able to float in this for a little bit as long as I don't make any sudden movements. I feel like I need to get towards the... Mm, mm, mm. How is this possible? No. Oh, oh no. I'm going down, boys. I'm going down. Ah! <laughs> oh, Trey. No. no, Trey. Trey. Mission failed, boys. Oh. Mission failed. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> All right, my trash can is staying afloat. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing keeping me above the gators right now. Come on, trash can. Quit folding on me. We don't have any water in the trash can, so I guess worst case scenario. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Pretty sure my five gallon buckets are just taking water in, dude. Oh, the Gucci boat. Oh, no. Uh oh, <sighs> saved it. Saved it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right, let me get my right foot here. Get us back and even. All right, get another cast in. So how you're gonna wanna work this worm is get yourself parallel with the bank, just like this. And you're gonna bring it right along the point where the grass is. There's tons of bait up in here. So the bass will use this grass as an attack point. They'll hide around the corner. They'll attack the shad. I gotta get a line out. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 <laughs> hey, I'm I'm stuck. Hey, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. Why does it want to go to the left so bad? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just we just took on so much water. There's a baby in the water. <laughs> Check this out, dude. There's a baby. Not gonna lie, mine floated the longest. No big deal. First I, in. Gosh dang it, dude. Split. I spent hours and hours we mile on a houseboat. Norm shows up and just builds the best boat every single time. How is that possible, dude? Dab on them haters. All right, let's check my rod. I heard a little break. I think we're good. I might get out of the water then, if that's the case. Wait, what did he say? What? He said people come throw their like, leftover T-bone steaks in the water right here for the alligators to eat. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> I was wondering why we got in the water they started swimming towards us. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, maybe we should get out, man. Yeah, all right, that sounds good to me. Yep. Don't take much convincing here. <clears throat> so the one thing that I didn't want to happen happened, my trash can filled up with water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. I thought it went good, man. Got some Gucci and tested my insecurities. Call it a good day. Boats were not fishable, but we have 30 minutes left, three rods, three reels, and a fire Florida pond. Yup. See who the best fisherman is with 30 minutes. So normally fish start betting the first full moon after the water temps at about 62 degrees. Here in Jacksonville, I think that happened, then we had a cold front. So we had a first wave of betters. And then now the second wave should be coming up, but the pre-spawners are looking for beds. So technically they should be shallow feeding up before they start laying their eggs. So I think 
bank fishing is the way to go. Dude, they're feeding so heavy right on the grass line. Oh, dude, there's so much bait. I feel like the first wave has definitely spawned out. I just landed. Every time I cast near the banks, minnows are going everywhere. We got about 15 or 20 minutes left. But that's all we need. All we need is one bite. So we'll see what we can catch. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's go. No, he come off. He come off. No. Oh. oh, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, you there they were. That is awesome. Nice fish, that, brother. Dude. Maybe a little pound some change? Yeah. I don't know. Check that out. Yes, First sir. First on the board, dude. We got a little bit of time, too, man. The lighting is beautiful. Maybe they're here. turning on, dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Heck let's yeah, go. Dude. That was so cool. That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching another boat build challenge. If you guys want to see us do another one, drop some comment ideas, idea comments. Subscribe to my best pal, Norm. Fishing with Norm. It'll be linked in the description. Yeah. Uh, why did I say that? It's so weird. I just want a foot massage real bad. And thanks, Trey, for being a part of today's video. Thank you for the invite, dude. It's been a pleasure. Mason, wherever you are, hope you're happy, dude. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace. Got the splinter. One oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that intro. <laughs>